Evening, everybody. It's uh, 5.30 on Monday the 15th, and this is your closing comment. It is video number 1021, and I remind you to please hit that uh, follow button and the notification bell so that you get all of our information. Okay, it was kind of an interesting day today. Uh, we started about a little to the upside um, and then turned down turned down actually pretty hard, uh, especially in the uh, NASDAQ mega cap stocks. Uh, at the end of the day, though, we came all the way back to close uh, with the Dow down just $12.86, the NASDAQ down seven eleven, uh, the S&P down a nickel. Uh, biggest loser was the Russell down 1084, which is still under a half a percent. And the only one of the indexes that closed on the upside was the transportations up just under 20 at 1983, 0.12%. Uh, uh, the VIX was up a little 1.23%. It's just sitting around that 16 and a half area, um, not really signaling much other than the market's incredible complacency. Okay, uh, as far as stocks go, I think that we've witnessed the breakout to the upside in uh, Boeing, closed 233.09, up 12.13. Um, it held its October low and took out the October high, up 5.5% today uh, on the news that uh, it was beginning to uh, deliver the 777 and sold two new 777 freight liners to Emirates. Uh, Rivian continued to fly up 149.36 at the close, currently 152 up 22.05 or 16 percent. Mara, which is Marathon Patents, a Bitcoin or crypto uh, stock. Uh, came out with an offering of $500 million plus $75 million in over allotment of convertible debt that will mature in uh, 2026. Uh, the stock closed yesterday at $75.92 and was trading about unchanged when the news hit. It did trade down to uh, $53.40. And the last on it is 54.70 down 21.22 or 28 uh, percent. Lucid's car was the Lucid Air uh, was declared uh, Motor Trends Car of the Year. I guess uh, we went through this same thing with uh, Tesla. Uh, the car that they're using is the ultra high end, which has no bearing whatsoever on their regular line. Uh, and the stock was up about two and a half dollars. There were two stocks today. Uh, I forgot to mention one of them this morning, EYPT, which is uh, an eye specialty pharma uh, that is dealing in a drug for AMD, which is age-related macular degeneration causes uh, blindness. Um, the stock pre-market today traded as high as $24.94. In the real world, it could only make it up to $21.50 uh, and finished the day at $14.09, up $0.09 cents, um, after, you know, being much higher. This is uh, pretty important, um, but these things get ahead of themselves. Uh, Kizar, KZR, another pharma uh, with uh, great results evidently on a lupus drug. Uh, this stock was as high as $36 in 2018 when it was a new company, uh, traded down to uh, $2.36 last year, uh, actually earlier this year, um, closed at eight nineteen and uh, yesterday, closed today before the news at 841, up 22, and then traded 
as high as 1453 and the last is 1409 up almost six dollars and 70 percent um, I want to make mention of this. I mentioned to a couple of people in our Discord room that I was going to comment on the EV chargers today and not in a particularly positive manner. Uh, doesn't have anything to do with the fact that they are EV or EV chargers. What it has to do with is any new industry, anything that comes in the public eye and is investable tends to trade at some fairly ludicrous levels. Um, it happens with 3D printing, which has never recovered. It happens with the pot stocks. I'll go on record and say Tilray will never trade 300 again. Um, and so what happens is you get these areas of high concentration, something new, and they get bid up. I'm not saying that the EV space or the EV charging space is at or near its high. What I am saying is that these things tend to move much further, much faster, and when they come crashing back down to earth, as they inevitably do, because they need to grow into their market caps, it can take a very long time. As I said, Tilray traded 300. Um, that was back in, uh, let's see, that was back in 2018. September of 2018, the stock traded 300. It has since traded back down to in the neighborhood of two and a half dollars. Uh, had a rally earlier this year up to 67. Great rally, nowhere near 300. And now it's settled back in and it's trading about $13. So, um, you know, you see my point. Uh, if you look at, as I said, the 3D players, if you look at any new industry, this is what you see. So it's just a warning. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Okay, so uh, tomorrow we have retail sales, industrial production and capital utilization and capacity utilization. We have the housing index. We have the import and export prices. We have business inventories. And we have Walmart and HD both reporting. So there's plenty to look at. Um, the chart on the screen is the oil. I still think it's going to be much higher, but uh, I was really kind of hoping we'd get back down into this $77 area. Uh, we only closed up nine cents on it, and that was towards the high end of the range. Um, we did the same thing um, on Thursday. We did the same thing on Friday, and yet we made new lows the next day in all three. So uh, that's what I'm looking at there. I think that the uh, gold is acting incredibly well. Uh, it was down $1.90 today. The dollar has been very strong. And so the fact that gold is moving up says something about that market. It is consolidating across here. Uh, we are solidly through the downtrend line. And uh, but we are, you know, I have to admit, we are into some heavy supply all the way from uh, 1885, 1887 up to that uh, 1910, 1920 area. Um, but still, 1866, 60 to 1900 is still $34, and that's a pretty solid move for any commodity. Bitcoin uh, had kind of what I would call a quiet day. It was stronger uh, and then sold off pretty hard. It finished down uh, three and a quarter, uh, but it had traded as high as 66,000 and change, closing you know pretty close to the low and right on the 20 day moving average. Um, you know, 60,000 wouldn't bother me at all. 
in fact, 59,000 wouldn't bother me at all. Uh, but I'd rather see it uh, hold this uh, just under 61,000 and start back up. No clue from open interest in volume. It's, you know, pretty flat that way. As I mentioned, the dollar continued higher today, 95.40, up 27 basis points. And the bonds are da- were down one and an eighth today. Um, interest rates look higher to me. There's nothing else I can say about it. Uh, technically, I'm not sure what this chart is telling us, but fundamentally, I expect to see much lower prices, higher yields. Have a good evening, everyone. I'll be back in the